Morrissey, let's have a look at some of the videos that are out, the VHSs. Maybe you can give me one or two of your comments. We've got a couple of films. I don't know if you've seen them. Mm. Spinal Tap and Electric Dreams. Have no, you seen them? No, I haven't seen them. They're out now. Barry Gibb has done a concept album where he's done videos for all the tracks, making an overall feature film type thing. Now, if we move down here, something which you might like, it's all the sort of rude videos all being joined together on one VHS. That's coming out in about two weeks' time. It is actually rude, so it's really only for the mums and dads. Over here, the Kitchenware record label from Newcastle have come up with a compilation video. Mm. One of your favourite record labels? Um, almost, not entirely, not really, but it, that must be interesting, I think. And what about this one, then? I More think time. Ready, Ready, Steady, Go, I think we might have seen the best of Ready, Steady, Go. I think the first few were, were very interesting. Mm -hmm. The people like Dusty Springfield, Sandy Shaw, Billy Fury. I think as they go on, it seems like that they're struggling to find fascinating clips. I could be wrong, I haven't seen this one. Well, this is from March 65. It's the mm. first time the Motown stars came over here and Dusty Springfield introduces it. It's mm. terrific, actually. It's my favorite mm -hmm. video. Tell me a little bit about the tour. How, uh, six weeks, what sort of places are you going to be going to? Um, concert venues. Um, the London venue is uh, the Royal Albert Hall. It's all so sold out. It should be quite interesting, fascinating. We'd like to do a competition because obviously mm. a lot of school children are at home just now watching the program yes. because of half term, etc. We've got all your LPs and a mm -hmm. collector's edition of the first single, all signed by the band and a T-shirt. What question would you like to pose? The question is, the question should be really quite easy. Um, what was the B-side of the Smiths' first single? The A-side was Hand in Glove. It wasn't a hit, but what was the B-side? The B-side of the Smiths' first single. And if you'd like to enter the competition, here's the address for your entries. It's the Pop Quiz, P.O. Box 86. Birmingham B57QG. I'll go quickly through that again. Pop quiz, PO Box 86, Birmingham B57QG. Morrissey, congratulations on your number one LP and the tour, and thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much.